<clears throat> more lights turn on in the afternoon on this side and this side's bright during the day and then this side's bright in the afternoon I've been lazy trying to spread the carpet so it's growing upwards I just whatever it's a lot of trimming Still got the CO2 bumping pretty good. This thing's pretty good. Really, you can really see the CO2 coming out of it. Got a little power head on it. But I got about, I don't know, three bubbles per second. Maybe three and a half. Hard, hard to tell. If you guys can figure out what that is, let me know. But that's fast, so. I got like five types of uh, cryptocurrency in here. <clears throat> when I got uh, two types of Winditty, I got Balinese, and then I got two I'm not too sure of. I think one's Florida. I don't know. I forget. I don't know if you guys can see that big clown lunch, but he's the camera shyest fish I have. Most camera shy, I guess, right? He's big, he's uh, I mean that log is huge, and he's pretty big in front of it. <laughs> I really only do the XL when I do water changes. I do like, out of that big jug, I do like five, six cap pools. I mean, I could probably do it more, but I just have too many tanks. So, there's some algae in there, but only on the log, really. The, the wisteria really helps with the water changes. That's why it's in there. I would love to do stem plants in the back. I just don't have time. <clears throat> so, the wisteria really keeps the tank going. Like uh, lots of nitrates getting broken down in there. They they get during water changes. They actually suffer a little bit. They actually like the water a little dirtier. They actually get brighter green when the water is like three four days after a water change. But the day after, they're a little bit closed, and they're starting to open up. So the light just turned on, but midday. Like they all look like the bottom one right there, and it looks it looks amazing. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.